park needs protection. It needs the council to stop it letting developers click their fingers and they jump. Because that's all they're doing at the moment. Developers click their fingers and the council jump. I've watched from my flat for many years, uh, looking at the children going into the park where uh, Tony goes around and he has a big net and he swishes it and all the children going looking, looking, looking. And I think if they build this 13 storey building with the other two buildings beside it, they're going to look in that net and there'll be nothing. Uh, that is a really sad thing when you think that this is the way it is, you know. We're talking about 90 species of bee, you know, which the ecologists have, have actually um, identified. We're talking about the dragonflies and their ability to, to um, have more, make more uh, dragonfly species, you know, to, to recreate, procreate. We're talking about a bird that flies uh, a good distance across the world to come and nest here, the common tern. So we're talking about many different species which need a degree of warmth. And the problem with the development, Plot 201, is that the level of warmth that is uh, being shaded is reducing the heat on the site, reducing the overall warmth for all these different species. And it, it's making it, it will make it, uh, really hard for some of those species to still exist in this area. It was amazing for me to have somewhere to go while I was doing my exams because it's a really stressful time and you know a few hours on the weekends just was amazing for me to just de-stress and relax. I really, I look on that little oasis of the ecology park as my back garden. You know I, I'm in a flat. On a sunny day I'll just go down there and I'll walk around and it's got a little sort of eco-climate really. It's sheltered, it's warm, you don't get the breeze from the river and I really enjoy just sitting there and relaxing. It just seems so short-sighted to let something so important here go because what else is there here that's like that? I can't think of anything. But you know this park, this, even this central park had so much you know potential but it's never been tapped into but it needs to be and we all need to start fighting and say no actually no we need these open spaces to be protected and managed properly by conservationists, ecologists and not contractors because contractors as you well know in Sheffield with the trees they don't know what they're doing but you know hopefully with the youngsters nowadays have started realizing let's help and protect the environment for your future because at the end of the day it's your futures that are going to get ruined i mean this place has so much potential and we all need to stand together and fight for it This land is your land, and this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me.